For this project, the tools and materials you'll need include a square, drill bits, clamps, a handful of screws, two six inch framing nails, wood glue, sandpaper, a broom, pencil, measuring tape, a drill with an extra battery. I decided to buy a five foot cedar fence board for this project because this will be outside and I wanted it to stand up to the weather. When you live in a tiny house, it is great to have dual purpose items. We needed a broom for our steps and future decks, and we also needed a boot brush to keep the dirt out of the house. So I decided to make a broom to boot brush stand. This project is part of content creators collaboration entitled Broom Thingy, and I'll link to that collaboration playlist in the description of the video. We are off grid right now, so we will need to use a generator to, to power all of our tools. I'm going to make all the cuts right now that we need outside, and then I'm going to move in where it's warmer to finish the rest of the project. All the cuts have been made, it's time to assemble it. Once you've finished sanding all of your edges, it's time to start assembling the pieces together. This is all you'll need for the part that holds the broom head. You'll need two, the two four inch wide, 10 inch long pieces and the two three and five eighths inch wide, 10 inch long pieces, and the 10 and a half inch long piece, full width. I've started assembling the one together already, but the first step is to glue your three and five eighths piece together on top of the four inch piece. And these will become the sides. I like to put a liberal amount of glue on make sure that it sticks. I will be using screws in this so it's not the only thing that will be holding these together. This is a fast set glue so it will dry pretty quickly and I like to clamp them together in order to help keep them together while they're drying. Make sure it's all lined up and let it sit for 10 minutes. While I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm going to glue one of the three inch pieces to the top of the 10 and a half inch board and hold it with my hand because the clamp won't really fit that well. Again, I will be using screws to secure it further. This will form a base for the broom so it won't slide out the bottom. Now I'm going to attach the two three inch pieces that I cut out of the off cut of the four inch wide piece to the back of the frame in order to deal with this bump that's in the broom to put the uh, handle on. I'm also going to glue the sides on And now I'm going to let this dry for about 10 minutes. The next step is to screw it all together. First, I'm going to drill some small holes so that the screws do not split the wood. So I have pre-drilled some pilot holes. The next step is to screw all the pieces together.
Once you have all the pieces attached, um, you can now drill the holes for the framing nails. They will act to keep the broom in place. I've already measured one inch down and one and a quarter inch in and placed a mark for my holes. Okay, let's try it out. Seems to be in there pretty well, it's great. Next step is to attach it to a stand. I've already marked three inches in on the 10 inch board, which I added a 45 degree angle to the edge and then attached with screws two of the off cuts from the four inch wide boards and I've already screwed these in just to make this next part easier. I've already also pre-drilled the holes for the boards which are these ones are the off cuts of the three and five eighths boards and I'm going to be using shorter screws for this part so because I'm only drilling through a part of the board since these are also cut on a 45 degree angle. So first I will add a little bit of wood glue here. So now we have a functional boot brush. The next step is to hold the pole. So we will hold the pole back here, we'll attach this piece of wood and drill with the hole saw, drill a hole there. Apparently the camera died when I was finishing off so I'll have to just explain to you the last two steps I did. I cut two more pieces of wood and did a 7 8 inch hole saw at the bottom piece and a 2 inch hole saw at the top piece and that's ordered to put the handle through. This is all the wood I have left over from this project so you really use every single piece of that board. But now I have a functioning boot brush and broom stand. Can't wait to start using it. So until next time, see ya!